hello friend welcome back with a new video so today we'll be talking about making a trojanized binary so that we can gain ex persistence to any linux machine with it uh, with a root shell whichever we have access to so this uh, this binary is made by and introduced by uh, Drew Elman on uh, YouTube. So you may know it uh, if uh, the person who have made it. You can just see, uh, search for the Drew Elman on the YouTube, and uh, you will get the Trojan binary of that Nestat, which have a, which he has introduced to us. So <coughs> today I am going to uh, showcase you that binary with how and uh, I will just show you how to uh, you can get access to with uh, other uh, machines also means uh, if you have a uh, uh, hundreds of machine or any uh, many other machines uh, which uh, you have uploaded this binary to get a reverse shell from that for uh, with pers for persistence then you will be able to uh, easily get access with that so I'll show you so first thing first we will need to just clone this binary first okay so we will just clone it okay then cd into the binary which we have downloaded okay ls that lets with contents okay yeah so next thing is to install it so okay so we will need to install it first to make it work for us so this one's a trojan is binary not a real binary so uh, you will need to see that it, it will take time because uh, it needs some time to install okay then after that we will configure it let's give it a time some okay yeah it worked okay okay So this is a Ubuntu machine I have I'm using here. So I'll just show you uh, if it, that it's uh, I'm uh, on a root shell here. Let's get uh, it completed first. Okay. So I'll show you how this I am a root on a root shell. Okay. So you can see that I'm on root. Okay. So then next thing is we will need to make it okay so next command is make and then it will just write compile it okay just wait for some time now it's done so we will go and uh, edit our ip address and port in that okay so first we will need to see the contents of it yeah so the main thing is our uh, which is we need to edit is is in src here okay so we will go in the src src in src we can see that contents are there now we will need to uh, uh, edit the netstat dot c command c okay so first dot sorry so yes uh, uh, so we will need to uh, first we will need to get the ip address of your uh, server we which we need to get the shell on okay so first we will go to the defined uh, variable where uh, yeah so yeah we have got the defined variable where uh, server ip is mentioned here so you can see it's already uh, i have edited my server ip which is same here 128 231 so and the port you need to specify above here is which is a uh, minus 443 so so the, now we uh, i just need to uh, save it now right now and uh, 
okay okay yeah so got it now we need to make it again means we need to compile it again so that its uh, changes which we have made uh, right now will, will be executed and uh, saved in the file again so yeah so we've done uh, now we i'll show you uh, just a minute okay 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 sorry uh, i need to again run it because uh, uh, my previous test was showing here okay so exit it so i'll run it again from uh, in front of you here okay so we have got it now the ish thing is uh, now okay so yeah i have uh, what i did uh, is a uh, I opened the Chrome tab and I edited it with with the this uh, binary. So which we have, I, I already uh, moved it to the original place of that. Uh, so we will uh, add it again here. I'll just show you how you can do that. Okay. So we'll need to just move it this binary netstat to the original place of this uh, which is use usr bin netstat and uh, and uh, in a cron tab we can just specify the time uh, so i have uh, specified it with uh, every minute it should run in a back backend so it will be giving us the reverse shell every time so whenever we start our uh, villain uh, c2 server and if you have got the uh, root access to the any machine just see you can see i've got it again so what will happen here is uh, if you have uh, access to many machines and you have gotten access to root ex access to any many machines so this c c2 uh, uh, will uh, really helpful to you so that you can get many shells with uh, uh, persistence so that's it guys uh,